This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is giving another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm playing with the Metal Foes deck again. Again, playing with the new Link monster, coming out in the Link Vrains pack, the Heavy Metal Foes Electrum. Uh, again, I know that this is better suited in other decks. Uh, but as it stands, I really just enjoy Metal Foes as a deck, so I really want to mess around with it. I'm going to play some... I almost summoned Rabbit first, and then if I would lost to Ash, I was literally going to shoot myself. <laughs> but uh, in this instance, I'm able to do this. I'm going to get all my Steelins out of deck first, because they're the ones that like seem to do the least. Um, they're the ones that I would prefer not to draw the most. And also, like this deck has so many, has so many more high scales than it does low scales. That was like a problem that Zoo sort of fixed. Because any zoo monster got you to Dragoons of Draconia, which was a low scale. Um, but as it stands right now, um, there's not really a lot that you have access to in terms of uh, low scale availability. Like, the deck has three Arch Phoenix Centric, it has Luster Pendulums, which is technically a high scale. Um, even though it's not a good enough high scale, it still hits most of your uh, cards. Um, and then it has uh, Steelins, and then it has Volflames, and then it has Bismagears. It just has. It has literally the only low scales in the deck are just Gold Driver and Silvered, whereas every other Pendulum monster is a high scale. Um, so, like, there's that. But I have the neat play, and that was Rescue Rabbit, because that means that I'm able to do this into this. This lets me put the Amorphage Sloth from my deck into my extra deck. I should be able to Pendulum Summon it as well, because I've got Arch Phoenix Centric. That's pretty cool. Um, so, we'll put Sloth face up in my extra deck so I can Pendulum Summon it. Um, and then this is going to give me draws. I've got so many different things. So many activities. I get to pop this card uh, with my first pendulum scale. Damn, this is fun. All right, so let's see. I want to put this in my scale um, so that I can then pop this. I can then play eccentric, pop, get uh, Bisma gear. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to structure this at least a little bit better than I did uh, in the previous game. Um, trying to get my Bisma gear searches and shit. Uh, but so we'll pop this. Uh, this, this is another deck that makes me wish that Chicken Game was still legal, um, if I'm completely honest with you. But so we'll set Combination here, uh, and then I'll be able to go Arch Phoenix Centric, popping the Combination. And so then I'll be able to go Arch Phoenix Centric Surge Bismagear, Bismagear pop Volflame. Uh, I'll get a draw after I set a, uh, a counter off of this card. And then, uh, at the very end of the day, the thing is, this card actually makes it super easy to, uh, to not fuck up, um, like, not searching with Bismagear, because you can just pop a card out of your scale with this. Uh, but so I'm gonna search a Bismagear here, and I just hope I don't draw a Bismagear. That's counter. Kinda wish I didn't draw that either, um, if I'm completely real. But so, we'll Pendulum Scale this. I still haven't Normal Summoned this turn either, which means I can use this to trigger, um, and add a card and Normal Summon it and do stuff like that. Uh, there's all sorts of cool, cool shit that I have the capabilities of doing. So I'm going to pop this, uh, which is then going to set uh, Metal Foes Fusion from my deck. Do I want to set Metal Foes Fusion? Um, I can set full Metal Foes Fusion. Uh, I'll just set regular Metal Foes Fusion. That seems like it's more value-based at this point um, because of the long-term the long -term game plan that I'm trying to play. Uh, but So I'll Pendulum Scale here. And so what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to activate this popping Bismagear, or I can activate this to pop Bismagear. Um, uh, this allows me to play around Wavering Eyes, potentially, so we'll actually do that play. But So I'm going to Special Summon here. I'm going to Special Summon the Sloth, and then I'm going to Special Summon a big-ass, beefy Volflame. <laughs> Just be oppressive. That's how you win in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! Your deck doesn't necessarily have to do a lot as long as it's oppressive. Uh, that's another reason why I might want to put, like, Apex Avions or stuff back into this deck, because Apex Avions a really fucking oppressive card, um, especially next to a Morphage Sloth. Um, so I can activate this, um, and the cool thing about this deck particularly is that I can Pendulum this Sloth out that I searched off the Link Monster, which is cool, um, but then also the ability that this deck has to, uh, to use one of your scales to pop the Sloth on your board <laughs> and turn it off for your turn and then just Pendulum it back out. Or use uh, this guy to add it back to your hand. Um, and then when you do that, you uh, contribute summon it after you do like all your plays. Because this deck is definitely not reliant on normal summon at all. Um, so like it's, it's all really cool. Um, that kind of shit is so cool. 
uh, to me. But so I'm gonna add this Arch Phoenix centric back to my hand because Bismagear is getting me a search. Um, Bismagear is getting a search. I've got two counters which are going to be summoning from deck and then doing shit like that. Um, adding cards back from my uh, from my deck to my hand. Uh, yeah, so I'll just add another copy of Wolflame. I think we'll just call that a day because I've got painful decisions and shit in my deck that I can still use. Rescue Rabbits that I can still use. All that sort of stuff. But so now my opponent is under a Morphage Sloth, which is as long as it's face up on the field, neither player can special summon monsters from the extra deck except for Morphage monsters. But not going to be something that matters too much because my opponent's activated duality. Four true Draco cards. This could be a problem. I don't know if I have an out to Masterpiece in this deck outside of, like, Deco Talker. <laughs> oh, no. Um, uh, so, Diagram here. Sure. Well, this is a unfavorable matchup for me. Very unfavorable. Oh, no. Um, okay, so Disciples of the True Draco Phoenix, adding True Draco Heritage. He knows which cards are which. Um, it, it, like, it tells him, so he should just target one of my counters. Um, which is fine, which I'll then, you know, activate the other counter. Um, I'll summon Abysma Gear from my deck in defense mode. Uh, uh, this is a... Uh, this is a game that I went from being very confident that I wouldn't lose to being a game that I very well might lose because people still play True Draco on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2, it seems. I mean, it's a strong deck for the format, but it still doesn't really beat Spirals, and Spirals is still, in my opinion, the best deck because its core engine pieces are still untouched. But that's just my own, uh, that's just my own thoughts. But So he's using Heritage to draw here, so I think that his hand might not be that great. Oh, he just drew into a Desires, though. That could definitely fix some issues. Uh, he took the diagram off of the uh, off of the thing, right? He took uh, he took True Draco Heritage, but then activated Diagram. Interesting. Um, hmm. Dragonic Diagram, True Draco Heritage, Dragonic Diagram. Weird. Um. Oh no, he took the Dragonic Diagram. He took no. What? I can't make sense of this log. Diagram, heritage, diagram, heritage. All right. Um. Cool. The monarchs erupt. Even. Uh. Let's see. Is he already? He's performed his additional normal off heritage to summon this guy. It's at twenty-seven. Uh. He's using this to pop Majesty Maiden. Hmm. Uh. To get Apocalypse. He's just gonna drop a gonna drop a masterpiece on my turn and that's gonna be hard for me to deal with if I'm honest um, I don't care if I give him a disciples of the true Draco Phoenix by like activating Bismagear or anything on this turn but he's attacking into this which is I guess the smart play I guess um, I still have counters that I can utilize I still have a bunch of stuff that I can utilize, but I don't know how I out the Masterpiece. That's the problem. The, the, thing, the only thing that I have in my deck that outs Masterpiece is the Beals. <laughs> it's just the Beals. Um, it's just the fucking Beals. I don't have any Xyzes in my deck because I just padded it out with, a, with a Link Monsters, which is not bad by any stretch, but it's still irritating. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to force this masterpiece out right the fuck now. Because I'm going to I'm gonna scale this, and I'm going to just try and pop one of those cards. Um, pendulum scale, please. Thank you. So I'll go to Pendulum scale this. Um, no, I don't want to do that. I'm going to activate this. And I'm going to get rid of... I can get rid of Diagram. That seems like it's probably most worth. And then I could Pendulum Scale cards. Um, and then summon the Arch Phoenix Centric and then get rid of his, uh, his Ignis Heat. And that forces the Masterpiece out. And then I can make Decode Talker. Yeah. Let's go with this. This seems like the play. Um, so I'll just get rid of the Draw Diagram just so I don't have to deal with it. Ignis Heat is activating here. Yeah, sure. Fine. Um... The Rescue Rabbit can get two Gold Drivers, which is fine. Um, or two Silverds. So it's perfectly live no matter what is there. 
that's good. Uh, so he's got Disciples of the True Draco Phoenix here. Uh, which means I'm going to Pendulum Scale this Volflame. And I'm going to use it to try and pop my Sloth. Because it's taking up space that it needs to not be taken up right now. Um, so Sloth, get rid of you. Well, actually, I don't even think Deco Talker isn't out. I don't think it is at all. Um, but, I mean, hey, whatever. <laughs> but so we'll put this here. And so now I can... I can actually use Metal Fuse Fusion here, and I can force this into Masterpiece, probably. Maybe. Who fucking knows? Not me! Um, but so, I'm gonna Metal Fuse Fuse here into... Ori Halk. I can use- I can make Ori Halk with these two. Put this up here. I don't even know why I'm going crazy over Masterpiece. He may not even have the card in his hand, but I'm just playing as if he does. I have no confirmation if that's what's in his hand or not. Um, uh, so I'm just playing as if it's there. Uh, painful Decision. That card's pretty fucking good. Um, we'll activate it. Hell yes. 100%. Uh, there's no reason for me not to. Uh, so I'll send Gold Driver, add Gold Driver. Um... And then I've got the counters that I can use. Uh, I can do things here. If I attack with Ori Halk and he uses, um, and he uses the, uh, the Apocalypse, that still works out in my favor. So I'm going to do that. Because it'll kill the Ori Halk and then I'll still send a card to, uh, to Grave. And he has to pop a card to, like, it's, it's literally like if he doesn't want to take damage. <laughs> Um, if he uses Apocalypse to pop, like, one of these, um, and then, uh, and then pops, like, my Volflame or my Full Metal Foes Fusion, then, uh, this will still die, which will still send Ignis Heat, which is fine. Um, yeah, sure. You're getting rid of the Full Metal Foes Fusion, that's fine, I can put that back in my deck, that's not a problem. But so, this will die... I'm actually just trying really hard to win this game. <laughs> I'm so upset if this is, uh, I'm so sorry if this is actually, uh, like, something that you're finding boring or whatever, but I'm actually just trying really hard to win this game. Uh, but I can Pendulum, I can Pendulum the Arch Phoenix Centric out of my extra deck, so I'm not worried about that, so I'm gonna pop this with the Ori Halk. That's a skill drain. Um, okay. So now I have access into Main Phase 2, Summoning Rabbit, Normal Summon. And then using Rabbit to get two, um, two dudes out of my deck, which I can make another copy of that Link monster with. Unless this is Ash Blossom. <laughs> In which case, my plan goes to shit. Um, well, not really, because I can still Pendulum Summon uh, the Eccentric to pop his Ignis Heat. Oh, this is resolving. Fuck yes. All right. Hell yeah. I can play with this. Uh, but so Silvered will go here, and then Silvered will go here. And then I can link into this man, um, which will open up two slots from my extra deck to Pendulum into, which I can Pendulum Eccentric, and then another just big card. Uh, I will use its effect, yes, please. Need. Need, want. Oh, really? You have a Masterpiece here? What do you have? There's no way. There's no way you let this entire play string happen and not have Masterpiece. There's no way! Oh, there's no way! Oh, Lord. Fuck me. I got played. Um. I got played. I have no spell out to this masterpiece, either. Um. Hmm. This is an issue. <laughs> this is most certainly an issue. If I ever saw an issue, there's certainly one here. Uh, but so I'm going to activate this. This is on Monster and Trap now, right? There's no way I knew that... There's no way that I could have known he had that Masterpiece either. This is me off. Um, this is me off. Uh, I'll add this Silvered to make it look like I don't have stuff, but he, if, if he has half a brain, he sees the cards in my graveyard. Um, <laughs> it's just all a matter of whether or not he sees them or not. Like, fuck. <laughs> Um, so what I have is that he has 
that, that is still going to be a problem for me. Uh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Um, yep. I don't think I win this game anymore. I don't think I can win this game anymore. Um, I can pendulum these two out of my hand, which I could then make a play with Mithrilium to bounce this, but that's not really going to be doing much. I'm I'm curious as to how this is actually something that I, if this is something that I can mess around with, um, we'll find out. I do just kind of want to wall up for a bit. Um, can't make decode talker because I've already. Uh, used my battle phase this turn. I should have just sent the apocalypse to the graveyard. I should have just not been a dumbass. Um, this is this is all on me, actually. I I can't I can't claim to not have fucked this up. I should have sent apocalypse with my Ori Halk, um, and just like taken the loss to whatever that face down could have been if it was a strike or something. I should have just respected the masterpiece. I started playing my turn respecting the masterpiece, but then that went away. Um, that's irritating. But so, these... He's putting back his monsters and his trap. Sure. Um, so let's draw on that. I don't have any more access into... What? No, I don't have any more access into the Link, into the Link monster. Because the two copies are here. Until I make Mithrilium to shuffle back. Um, that's, that's what needs to happen. But so... Using Masterpiece here to attack this... Um, I, the reason I walled up with both was so that he couldn't pop and just swing directly at me. Uh, but now he's popping. So, like, if you're if you're gonna waste, like, resources there, then sure, go for it. Um, uh, but I've got this here, which is fine. Huh. Setting a card. I don't like that. Set cards fuck me up. Uh, Luster Pendulum. I really need, like, access into Gofu to make Beals. That's my out. <laughs> that is legitimately my out at this point, is to go foo into Beals. Fuck me, right? Um, I could make Link Spider, I could do some things, but all in all, it's not looking like it's going to be too, too good for me. Um, <laughs> it. Uh, activate? Yes. Just pop this. Maybe? See what happens. Ah, oh, he is gonna actually use this. Weird. Uh, what a weird place to masterpiece. Um. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll just activate this. Um. And I will add a Bisma gear to my hands. Do I have any Bisma Gears left in my deck? I do have one. I will add a Bisma Gear. And so I'll just start trying to wall up again. Wall the fuck up! That's how this game plan works. I'm trying to draw into literally go for. <laughs> um, I'm so upset that that's my game plan. That that's what I'm being forced to do. Uh, but I still think I lose this game. I think this is 20 minutes of me flailing around mindlessly. Uh, for almost no avail. Um. <laughs> Shit. Ta. The thing is, I could And that's what pisses me off the most, is that I could have respected that there might have been Masterpiece there. And I just didn't. <laughs> it's all on me. Like, I started playing the turn as if to play around Masterpiece... But then, as soon as my attack got uh, apocalypsed, I was like, surely he's not so shit to let the Ori Hulk take the card away from him that he would use to summon Masterpiece. He must just not have the Masterpiece. But no, it turns out that he actually is just shit in terms of, I could have gotten him. Um, but, uh, but I just didn't. <laughs> I just didn't because... He got rewarded for me thinking that he was really, really good and was like, oh, he doesn't have the masterpiece. But no, he just... I could have fucked him if I sent that Apocalypse to Grave because I had no monsters. That was the original course of action was to send either his Apocalypse or his Ignis Heat to Grave. Ignis Heat was probably the better card to send because then I could pendulum out, 
Arch Phoenix Centric at any point future in the turn if he had Masterpiece, and it would be on Spell, Trap, and I could pop it with a with Arch Phoenix Centric. So like I went from playing around Masterpiece uh, completely to not at all, and that's where I lost. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie fucking daisy. Um, the thing is now I'm at the point where I've lost so many cards to just this master. I had so many cards over him until he summoned Masterpiece, and now I have like no cards. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Oh yeah, card of demise. This game is over now. If it wasn't already, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let this go on. I I have no real out to draw anymore because my silvered's. I've got a silver here. If I'd drawn a Gofu, if I'd drawn like a Gofu, then that would have been kind of cool. Oh, it doesn't let you check. Neat. Um, but like the only card that I have left in my deck that isn't out to this in any way, shape, or form is Gofu. The one Gofu. I would have to draw it, special summon it, and then summon Silvered, and then hope to Christ that he doesn't pop anything until I make Beals. And then I can just swing over the Masterpiece. But that's way too unreliable of an out. Nah, uh, it's not it's not something that's gonna happen. But so, I lost this one. I literally threw this game by not respecting Masterpiece at a certain point because, like I've already explained, I reached a point where I thought surely my opponent is not so bad that he wouldn't just risk his way to summon Masterpiece going away. Especially since he knows that I have access to Arch Phoenix Centric. Uh, but no. He made he made the wrong play and got rewarded for it because I stopped playing around Masterpiece. So fuck me, right? But anyway, I have never opened a better game on my turn one and thought that I had surefire won the game and then lost before like that. That actually that kills me. That actually kills me. Masterpiece is such a fucking broken card. Uh it, it's actually just strange to me that it's not in the format anymore because Pendulum Magicians are just better than True Draco. ABC is just better than True Draco. Spirals is just better than everything. It's kind of weird to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just venting. Maybe I'm just ranting. Who knows? But anyway, this video is already long as fuck, so obviously I'm not going to play another game. Uh, that one was a bit odd, but yeah, I think you get the gist. Anyway, as always, guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Links, as always, are in the description down below to my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you like the videos I've been making as of recently and want to support my ability to continue making those videos, then Patreon is obviously the best way to do so. And any support you give on Patreon is infinitely more valuable than support you give over on YouTube because it just makes things a lot easier for me to keep on improving quality content and improving things going forward. So if you're interested in getting into my private Discord server with me and a bunch of other people to chat on a daily basis, or if you're interested in Yu-Gi-Oh! product giveaways that happen once a month, if you're interested in any of that, or if you just want to support the channel, then definitely check out the Patreon link in the description and check out the reward tiers over there. And any support you'd like to give me or the channel is greatly appreciated in advance because it helps keep this going because YouTube starts as hell doesn't doesn't help fund all the additional equipment that I'm trying to buy for this shit. Uh, it's definitely not as good as it once was. But anyway, that's a topic for another day. As I've already said, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. Again, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below, as always. And take care, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Jesus Christ, Masterpiece. But anyway, now the video's over, I'd like to give a special thanks to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, Troy Perkins, and Eric Gertson, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You guys help out a lot more than you may know, you have my eternal gratitude, and you guys are forever awesome. Thank you so much for the support.